Поясу 26 лет. Рост 170 сантиметров, вес 70 и 80 килограмма. Профессиональный рекорд 16 побед, 4 поражения и гостин бразильская джиу-джитсу. Ladies and gentlemen, he is 26 years old. He stands 170 сантиметров tall, weighing at 70.8 kilos. As a Brazilian jiu-jitsu specialist with professional record 16 victories and 4 losses. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Colonia Leopoldine, Brazil. Бойцу 30 лет, рост 173 сантиметра, вес 70 и 80 килограмма. Его стиль, ударная техника с профессиональным рекордом 18 побед, 8 поражений. Ladies and gentlemen, he's 30 years old. He stands 173 centimeters tall, official weight 70.8 kilos. As a striker, we have professional record, 18 victories against 8 losses. He's not ready, Russia. Приветствуйте, Лололи, Аллегия. And your referee in charge, Lukas Vasatsky. Lukas Basatsky is a referee in charge. Here is the tail of the tape. Both well-rounded fighters are going to clash each other and we see Ready. what happens. Ready. Fight. So, speaking about Loma Lignal Give, a few words about him. He's using the southpaw stance, by the way, and a good liver kick from the very beginning of the fight. And he starts to pressurize. And nice another, body kick. Another, another liver kick from the left by the Russian fighter. He used to fight at such promotions like M1 Challenge, and a good combination from the Brazilian fighter, Denis Silva. Oh, head kick, but covered. And I think that he stunned the opponent, and there he what goes. What a nice right hand. And the beautiful combination again, some ground and pound. Denis Silva is definitely hurt. He's wobbling and hurt. Tries to work at the fence right now. Well, Denis Silva was Hurt was badly, dangerous. he was burnt badly, he got stunned, and now he's trying to submit Loma Lee for guillotine. But Loma Lee releases himself, and several hammer fists from Nogiev. And he takes the back, he takes the back, works from here. He needs to put the hooks inside, and so he does it, and here comes the grip. But firstly, Loma Lee Nogiev needs to hit, and he closes the grip, he shuts the grip down, and Hard times for Denis Silva. It doesn't look like close, but it's still dangerous for Silva to work from this position. He tries to stand up. And he does it, but... Nalgiv is on top, and once again... And here is a rear naked choke in stance. Well, that's pretty rare submission we can see here. Another attempt. But Silva manages to survive again. Well, that's a big deal. Of course, he is a Brazilian. They know how to defend themselves. Exactly. And by the way, just like we heard and just like we told you that Danny Silva is a jiu-jitsu practitioner. He is a jiu-jitsu specialist. So he does really know how to defend himself in this position. But still, Loma Lino Give is in control. He's in the back mount. And he continues shooting and hitting the opponent with big hammer fists. And actually, it's the time for Silva to reset a little bit after several jolts he took from his opponent. And here comes the choke again, but Dennis Silva, without any success, Dennis Silva escapes once again. And he's still in the business. Lomalino Gip tries to use the knee shots to the hip. They are pretty painful, by the way. Rain in the hips, and Silva separates. Nicely done by Brazilian. Exactly. Well, actually, I did not think that he could survive, that he could, uh, that he could have ex uh, escaped, but actually he did it. But everything started from a beautiful high kick from Loma Lino Give. And the Brazilian comes. And he is on fire now. Tries he needs to squeeze. And he needs to take a little revenge after those episodes. Big right hand, but blocked by Silva. And now Lomarino Kiev started to move. And I think that he's going to work on counters. And he's given a long range. That's what, where he should work. Good liver shot from Silva, by the way. And I, th and I think that it landed. And it hurt. Lomarino Kiev. 
Godzilla has a very sharp right hand. He always uses it. So, and Algiv has to be aware of it. And by the way, he's using that lever, uh, that liver shot from the left. Big punch. And I think that Silva noticed that Romarin Algiv actually eats that shot. He takes it. Oh, beautiful counter by Silva. And a high and kick. A high kick, right. Nicely defended. Nicely defended by Loma Lino Gif using his footwork. Well, I think that Loma Lino Gif. Oh, another, big connection. Another connection by Silva. Tries to squeeze a little bit more. Another good hit from Silva, and he continues pressurizing the opponent. He continues to come forward. Maybe Nalgiv uh, wants to extend his opponent to the later rounds in order to prove his gas tank. Well, I guess so, and I think that uh, Lomalino Gif is having that little pause in order to recover because he has spent many, much powers after the previous episode that actually happened at the very beginning of the go. fight and 10 seconds to go and a good body hit from Silva and there he comes again with big shots from the right. And that's it for now. And I think that we can, def we can definitely say that Loma Lino Give has been saved by the bell because he was really in trouble. Yeah, he was hurt. He was bubbling a little bit. And he definitely was saved by the bell. And let's see it once again. Excellent moment for Loma Lino Give to finish the fight because he stunned Dennis Silva. And we see that the Brazilian was pretty hurt and down he went. And I think that was a perfect moment, beautiful moment for Lino Give to finish. Yeah, to work in the ground and pound, but he preferred to try to submit him. That was there. His mistake. Yeah, I think so. I thought I think that uh, he didn't have to rely on submission because, well, you agree with me that with that statement that he did really need to work with punches. But Dennis Silva once again showed his high level, his jiu-jitsu level of how he managed to survive, of how he managed to escape from that submission. And afterwards, he got the initiative and started to pressurize. Uh, Loma Lino Give. Round two starts now. And as you can see, Denis Silva comes forward. Grab the fence. Working at the fence. Nice, Very nice knees. Nice knees with a Muay Thai clinch from Nal Give. Another exchange here at the fence. Nal Give tries to respond. But Denis Silva just does not notice those shots coming from these counters. Just coming forward on a nice leg kick, by the way. Another one from Nal Give. That's a good decision for him, I think, but he should not eat these punches. Another, Another big, connection big by Silva. body shot from Dennis Silva, and he continues working. And the knee to the body by Silva. Oh, was it low blow or not? Maybe, but Lomani Ogiev did not mention it. And uh, Dennis Silva, beautiful takedown by the Brazilian fighter, and here comes the side control. We see that Dennis Silva is now pretty active, and here comes the half guard position. Now Gibb tries to fight back. Oh, by the way, I, I forgot to say that uh, Roman Lino Gibb is famous for his up kicks because in his recent fight, in his last fight, uh, Loma Lino Gibb knocked his opponent up, out. Uh, that was Imanali Gamzatana with, with an up kick. He was laying on his back and shooting from this position. Another connection by Silva. Beautiful, beautiful job. Very fast, very sharp guy from Brazil. A back elbow, so to say, from Silva, and he continues dominating. He continues. Oh, that was huge. And by you hear the Loma crowd. Nalgif. You hear the crowd, they support Loma Nalgif. They definitely like it. What is going on? Here's some trouble with Shingard. Try to go down. Hey, hey, no coaching. And the referee says that the corner of Dennis Silva just cannot coach him, cannot tell okay. him advice. Okay. Give him advice. So we continue. But to my mind, Lomalino Gif started to get exhausted. Yeah. He's running Definitely. out of gas. He's breathing heavily. He steps back. He splashed his energy out in the first round. 
and look at his power shots. Well, actually, there is a big lack of power in these hits, that's for sure. He has to keep himself at a longer distance. That's where he should work. And forward comes Dennis Silva. He's eager to finish this fight right here and right now. And uh, well, that was nice trade right hand from Nalgiv, by the way. Shows that rolling with the punches. Middle kick by Nalgiv. Well, see that Silva is pretty careful. Does not take much risks. Just coming forward, covering himself up, and looking, looking for a big moment to hit us to finish the opponent. A nice counter again, but did not get the liver. And forward he comes, even without preparation, without triggering the opponent, just coming forward. And Silva always delivers and connects with his punches. Very sharp. Time, time. Very fast. Right, need to make something with that. Go down, 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 hard down. And we see uh, here comes another problem. This go time with the right shin guard go hard, go hard. of uh, Loma Lino Give. And, uh, but still, okay. it's okay. a time Come to on. recover. Yeah, exactly, exactly. He had several seconds to normalize his breathing and maybe adjust a little bit, make some adjustments. Because definitely he's not winning right now. Sure. One and a half to go in the second round. Big elbow from the Brazilian fighter. And now the working clinch and Silva is in control. Pushing the opponent to the fence, preparing for a takedown. And a good grip, by the way. And here is counter move from Nalgif, but Silva manages to stay on his feet. Silva understands that he can definitely wrestle with uh, Nalgif and he uses it. Yeah, because he's exhausted. Yeah. And we all do know that when you stick to wrestling, you lose powers. And here comes good position for Silva. It can be a back mount. And the hooks are all already inside. Is it close right now? Right now, no. It's not. There is no grip, by the way. No choking grip. So that's why now Give can just wait for till the time expires and go up to the break. But. We see that it is really hard for him already, that he's losing powers, he eats, he gets that shot that actually influences his stamina badly. He loses, oh, here, there he comes, it's and close. Silver. It's definitely, it is definitely close. Not this time, says Lomali no give. Ten once, seconds to go. And once again, Lomali manages to escape, he manages to get rid of this position so far, and it's really hard to choke the opponent with a single hand, and, and again, saved, saved by, by a bell. Bell. We're saying that together. Hey, hey, well, we hey, can't but agree hey. with that statement. And there is some altercation here yeah. between fighters. The fighter, uh, the fight becomes pretty tense. So there are lots of emotions here, and I understand why. Because Lomalino Give did not come here to lose on his home soil, so to say, in front of his crowd, in, in front of his fans eyes so he just cannot lose and there were some losses by the way from Lamalino Gif eight of them and uh, six of them were by decision one by the way of knockout and why by submit and one by submission he definitely has has to work harder Harder and uh, smarter, I should say. That's the correct word, I think. Because he needs to... He needs to use the distance. Okay. He has the advantage in it, but he doesn't use it. And he should save his energy, he should save his powers. And there is no need to exchange with this Brazilian because he's tough, Powerful he's guy. a heavy hitter, he's a knockout artist, that's for sure. So, kick. nice kick again from Silva. The kicking exchange we're having here. Oh, beautiful counter from Nogiv, by the way. Silva squeezes. 
you see that Nalgif is triggering the opponent using some fence, fake moves. And right now it's a right tactic from Nalgif. He uses the distance, he understands he has exactly. to move. Yes. He should not, con uh, he should continue show his, showing his footwork and he shouldn't stay here at the fence. Exactly. So he, he has to move. scramble out of here. But now we see that Silva caught him. And now they're working beside the fence, beside the cage, and now Silva controls the opponent. And once again, he's preparing a takedown. And that's actually Nalgib's mistake. He had, he had to be moving, but at the center, near the center, in order to avoid it. Right now, he's in a dangerous position because of himself. Yes, he's in trouble. And once again, Dennis Silva tries to stick to the tactics that he was nice following scramble. during the last round. And now Giff is on his feet now. But we see that it is so hard for him to continue fighting. So hard for him to engage. He's fading. He's exhausted and fading. But nothing is set in stone yet. Good. And take down. Nice job by Roma Leo Giff. Well, a sudden takedown, so unexpected, and it was unexpected for Silva, firstly. And very needed for Nalgi. Exactly, a very important takedown, so now he can stay in control, beat the opponent, maybe try to, to finish him up. And win some time working here, because the first round was close. Yeah. If he wins the third one, maybe he can win, because definitely he lost the second one. And look at Silva scrambling in this position. Triangle choke to get him there, but without any success. So I think that Dennis Silva will try to scramble, to sweep, but now give gets the opponents back. And here, there can be a full mount position now. Silva, beautiful move, counter move by Dennis Silva, and, and it's just guard. a just a closed guard position, not more. But still, now give is on top. He gets the initiative and he needs to work in this position in order to gain points, to gain the time control. That's very important for him. And it seems to me that Dennis Silva is uh, he's losing powers too now because he started to breathe heavily, yeah. but still, and I think that he lost some powers while trying to submit the opponent with this triangle. And of course, if you hold, you also uh, you are also losing some power because you are holding you need some more action. Come on, action. and muscles need energy need air stamina and Lukas Basatsky warns the fighters especially Lomalin no give to stay busy to show some actions otherwise they will get back on their feet and uh, Dennis Silva will get his chance for a revenge Again, Silva tried to scramble, but Nogif showed beautiful control, and they remain in this position. When Nogif is on top, but Silva controls him with this guard, tries to control him, tries to tie him up with his hands. Both fighters are struggling with fatigue right now. Well, actually, they were doing this since the second round, I yeah. think, but mostly we can say this thing about Lomalino give because he lost his powers much more earlier. But still, Lomali continues working, continues hitting Dennis Silva, and he continues landing the shots, but maybe they are not that crisp that they could have been in the first round. They are not that sharp and big, but still, these are points. This is yes, the action they are definitely initiative. Time. It's the right time right now. He delivers and connects, and he's winning the third round. That's for sure, no doubt, no doubt about that, so. And, may, and maybe the whole fight. Well, we cannot say that for sure, uncertain, so. We're, we're sitting beside yeah. the referees, trying to look into the scorecards and try to predict the result, but, well, a very, very hard fight for both, especially for Lomelino Nogif. Well, everything was in his hands during the first round. In the second round, there were hard times for him, and he definitely lost that uh, period. And in the third, I think that he got it.
So I think that the main thing is who is going to get the first round. And so yeah, I agree. That's if, the... if I were a referee, I would give certainly a, the first and the third ones to Nalgiev and the second to the Brazilian Denis Silva. So, so, so David, on your personal scorecards, the score is 29 to 28 yeah. in the favor of yeah. Lomelin Nalgiev. Well, I think it's uh, well, it's true to life. Well. But I'm not be surprised if the first round goes to Brazil and because it was close. If it is so, so it will be a vice versa yeah. decision. So let's hear it from our brilliant Alexander Zagorski, one of the best ring announcers in the world. Is the winner. Well, that's fair enough. Just like we told you, but it was a pretty close fight, and I see a big, big disappointment on Dennis Silva's face because he was that close to win for the win in this fight. But well, but still, I think that it is fair enough. It is a clear decision that Loma Lino Give has done it. Well, another big win. It's a pretty big win for Loma Lino Give, that's for sure. I agree.